Hi everyone, my name's Mike Sherry, and we've been getting a lot of questions about fifth wheel hitches, you know, the, the fifth wheel hitch that fits in the back of your pickup truck, and particularly if uh, you need a sliding hitch or not. And the determining factor if you need a sliding hitch is if you have a short bed pickup truck. So a pickup bed truck with a bed length from the rear of the bed cab to the tailgate below six and a half foot, you're going to need a slider. And I'm gonna demonstrate on my really high tech uh, poster on the bulletin board here of why you need that and then we'll jump in and I'll show you a couple of different options on fifth wheel hitches themselves to show you you know what they do all right so this is high tech here so notice we have our pickup truck up here it looks like a really nice pickup truck and then we have our trailer our fifth wheel this white emblem here and we have our pivot point right here which is right in the center of the bed right above the axles and that's where your kingpin of the fifth wheel connects to the fifth wheel hitch and this particular truck is the six and a half foot bed so what happens here is typically when you're driving down the road and you're turning you can no make all your normal turns in a six and a half foot bed the trouble is when you get to your campsite or maybe your home parking it in the barn and you need to do that 90 degree turn Notice here how the fifth wheel starts to get into right there into the cab of the truck. And right there, you're really going to mess it up. So what you do is you have a sliding fifth wheel hitch. Now this is a manual sliding hitch. You're only going to use it when you're in those tight turn spots. Again, when you're driving forward, you're rarely if ever in this position and if you are you just need to be cognizant of it and go out and release your fifth wheel hitch to slide it back so to do that I'll show you here in a second but I'm gonna move this pin uh, down and that's going to mimic a sliding fifth wheel hitch in the rear sliding position now you don't want to travel like this because the weight is no longer uh, above the axle of the truck it's actually behind the axle but it's perfectly fine when you're in that tight spot or you're backing the the fifth wheel up into a barn so no notice notice now you're doing your turns and yeah everything's just the same there but if you want to do that sharp 90 degree turn to get in a tight spot look here see how the fifth wheel does not hit the bed of the or the cab of the truck any longer so you can actually do above 90 degrees uh, to really just be able to get that fifth wheel in that tight parking spot so now let's go out here i have a couple i actually have one uh, standard fifth wheel hitch and one slider fifth wheel hitch in the showroom and i'll show you how they work <clears throat> so we'll start here with our standard fifth wheel hitch so this is uh provided by bmw this is an american-made product we highly recommend them here at the dealership and this is just going to be your fifth wheel hitch that you fit in your long bed or your eight foot bed. Notice it, there's no movement here. The fifth wheel itself can be removed. There's four pins here. These, these two items here are what they call the rails. Those would stay in the bed of your pickup truck. But if you didn't need the fifth wheel hitch itself in your truck, you can remove these four pins. And with a couple people that are pretty strong can lift this fifth wheel up out and maybe store it in your garage or barn. When you're not using it. but when you are using it it's uh, easy connect you just back your fifth wheel right up in here you have a couple of latches that's going to hook around the kingpin to secure it into place and you have a couple handles that will allow you to do that now this is the sliding hitch so this is what you're going to need if you need that six and a half foot bed and if you have shorter than six and a half foot bed, I'll talk about that in a second. But this does all the same things as the standard hitch we just looked at. Still has the connector there for the kingpin. Uh, still has the two rails. Actually, the exact same two rails as what's on the other one. So uh, they are interchangeable. If you'd ever maybe buy the wrong hitch, don't worry. You just simply need the new part up here. You don't need the new rails. Now, when you're in that tight spot, we've got this in the current, the travel position, but when you're in that tight spot backing up, like we just mentioned, this particular one has a lever right here on the BMW, and they're all a little different, but that has a lever there. That's going to allow, notice this 
whole fifth wheel mechanism now slid back. And that's going to bring the whole fifth wheel itself back behind the axle and therefore allow you to do those sharper turns that I just mentioned uh, in the video. So I hope that explains the difference between the two hitches and why you would need a sliding hitch. Now there is another scenario where if you have shorter than a six and a half foot bed they actually have some five and a half foot beds out there so make sure you measure your bed this hitch here will not work in a five and a half foot bed you need what they call a super slider which what a super slider does it moves back automatically so as you turn your truck there's going to be a mechanism in there that slides the fifth wheel back automatically because in a five and a half foot bed you will hit the nose of the fifth wheel to the cab of your truck in forward motion, just making your normal turns because your bed is so short. So it's not the end of the world. You can still tow a fifth wheel. You just need a super slider hitch that automatically slides back. And that's only in the five and a half foot beds. Six and a half foot beds, you're fine with this option here to manually slide it back. Just be cognizant when you do get in those tight, hairy corners, you need to get out of your truck and slide this back and lock it into place. And then if you have your eight foot, uh, bed in your truck right here the standard fifth wheel option is just for you no need to ever come out and slide it it's just it's always going to be right where it needs to be so i hope that was helpful for you uh if you have any questions about rvs give us uh, a call at the dealership i'll post links below for our contact information and if you're in the market for an rv by all means take a look at our website uh, we have hundreds of customers who travel all across america to do business right here at paul sherry's for a variety of reasons and i always tell my customers to discover why just go to google and type in Paul Sherry RVs and over to the right side, you're going to see our reviews and just read reviews from real customers of ours and why they did business with us. So check those out. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope this clears up some muddy water on fifth wheel hitches.